Uh, some of you might have seen the uh, gazelle in a short earlier this year. Today we're going to have a closer look at it. It's uh, arrived here to have a little bit of TLC. We have problems with the hood latch that broke, so we need to uh, put new wire on that. And uh, we're going to bleed the brakes, replace the uh, sender for the brake lights because that's not working. Um, yeah, I'll have a closer look. This car is in fairly good condition, it's all metal, it's not got any fiberglass gloss hoods, so it survived. It's a driver's condition car. And the current owner, a friend of mine, who's, uh, as I said, a bit camera shy, he'd like to get this safe and nice and driving and just improve on the details uh, as he has it. I'm not going to do a full restoration, it's too good for that, but it'd be nice to sort out little uh, defects. The last owner, I think the last five years he had it, he just did not have time to sort anything out. So it's kind of had that slow deterioration being a bit in a barn, but now it's in a good garage and in a good home. It looks pretty good without the hook caps. With rock and roll. Flying gazelle up in the air. Just taking it all the way up so we can grease all the points and whatnot before we do the brakes. We got the uh, front suspension grease points and what not that'd be nice to do we're also going to do the engine oil um it's the basic service yeah doesn't look too bad in here fairly solid which is good for an english car so what i'm doing now is just checking that these cylinders look like they got life on them so there's no seeping which is very good and they actually look there's no surface rust on them so and there's lots of meat on the brake pads so I'm actually very happy with that. And the same on the inside here. This is, uh, there's no, there's no corn or anything. We're very happy with these, with these drums and the uh, condition of the brakes. So it's just nice to check because when you buy a car, you never know if somebody's, when, when they've replaced this last time. So have a look at the brake hoses. They look fairly new as well. So yeah, happy days. One thing I'm noticing is that the one brake hose is rubbing a bit on the here in full swing, so we need to find a way to secure this so it doesn't touch the uh, uh, the control arm.
Hey, look at that. A little clean up. It's pouring down, so we've got to wait. We've got to wait until he goes home, but we've... Um, We've uh, checked out the, all the brake cylinders. They're all good. They seem to have been changed not too long ago. There are no, no, no leaks. That's great. So this is a very short, silly video. But uh, what I've done today is that we've, um, if you see it's wet in here, so I've washed this off because we've been uh, bleeding brakes. And you can see that uh, master cylinder reservoir is tiny. So we figured out it's about two pumps uh, when you're bleeding it. And then you've got to top it up. Uh, so it took a bit of a time to do it but we've replaced all the brake fluid we've check, checked that the um, checked that the brakes are all right they're in good condition there's lots of uh, life left on the brake shoes so we're happy with that and uh, the main reason we went down here is also to change this little switch here that engages the brake lights they're now working so we're happy i do believe this is a 1.6 liter engine and you have semi-synchro so it's not synchro on the first but synchro from second and up but you can actually it's designed to start on second on from flats for flat surface um i won't really have time to go for a drive in it today but i will do that uh, so one time we'll do a test video on how it handles but uh, probably as british as british gets in terms of cars and uh i really like this uh, car it's very nice